Hey guys, it's Tucker here, and it's been a little over a month since I've did a video, and I'm going to do a video today, and it's going to be a pretty long update video, and a lot of stuff has happened, a lot of bad stuff has happened, so let's jump into this video, it's not going to be very, it's I've actually a lot of good stuff has happened ever in the past over a month, uh, just a lot of bad stuff has happened, a lot, so... Let's jump in this. Okay, so you remember last time there was a video, I looked over it and there was the cuckoo silkies in here and I took them back to my grandpa's like literally a month ago. So now all I have left in here is I put these two in here and that one right there is broody and the other one, she just kind of sticks in with her throughout the day and hangs out with her and my splash rooster, which was my one of my mom's favorite chickens. He ended up dying and we took some of her eggs and put them in the incubator, seven of them, out of her eggs, the one that's brooding, the partridge, and the splash rooster. And uh, I actually had some hatch, because he died a few, he died weeks ago. I actually had one hatch so far, and I've had other chicks hatch too, and I've been hatched some out. And I never really, did, I, uh, I never did set the cuckoo uh, silkies, but that's what's in here. And I got rid of my white silkies. I got rid of, I sold those. Um... Well, he ended up dying. It was very sad. And then that coop from that was over here, I painted it and put it over here. And as you know, that's what was in here was in. Well, now I got these. I bought the. I paid one hundred thirty dollars for every one of them in this coop. They're supposed to be show quality, and they have all these bands around their legs. And I, I bought them from a guy. They're, well, they're kind of dirty right now. I bought a trio of these, but there's only two because that hen right there, she's off the nest right now. But she's supposed, supposedly broody. She has been for a little over about a week and a half now. So I don't really know what's going on with that, really. But that's the rooster. And the other hen's over here because uh, I didn't want her in her in here. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. In here laying with her. And I put the two roosters up at night because, uh, you know, I don't like putting any collars on them because I might end up showing them. I don't really know. But, uh, I have something built in the garage that I'm going to show y'all that they stay in and it's a work in progress in there. But I'll show you the over here on the other side. It's a different breed, but they're also white. They're white rocks. And there's the rooster and the two hens. Uh, they haven't really collected eggs, so there's two eggs and a whole nest full. And then she's over here. It's kind of messy in here right now, and he goes in the garage too. Uh, but there they are. I was told they've all been showed at least once, so I don't know about my. I don't think the Jap hens have though, to be honest. But I've got the coop painted. There it is. Sorry for the sun. I got it painted, same color as that other coop. And uh, I haven't really tilled in the garden any, and I've kind of let it go because I ain't gonna be home this summer. So I decided, hey, it's uh, not a good idea to do it. And so I have these all this volunteer stuff so we're just gonna let that stuff grow like tomatoes we had a thing and some tomatoes so we'll have we'll have our garden in a way yes we'll just, there ain't gonna be a lot of videos this summer so i'm just gonna give you all a fair warning and i have really bad news over here i lost my silver lace wine dot i almost lost my black copper moran but you can see it you can see it right there and then I lost, I did have three Easter eggers, but now all I have is this one left. I lost them. Something's going around, and I cleaned the crap out of this coop. I cleaned the crap out of everything. Scrubbed the waters, scrubbed the feeders, cleaned every inch of the coop. And uh, just had, I've had three of them die. And then Friday, we were going out of town. And before I went out of town Friday, I came out here, and I saw my rooster laying out here, and he was kicking around. As you can see, he's not out here. He's he died but I don't know I watched him die and he was he was he was our favorite we've had him for for a few years now we've had him for years now and uh just broke my mom's heart that he died and she that was our favorite chicken here we have him him and waddles are meat chicken if you don't know if you're new to the channel you can go back and look at those videos but uh just broke her heart that he was gone and, but uh it was it was bad I, I we watched him die and everything I don't know what killed him I just don't know. I mean, he, 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 he was so lively the day before when I walked out here. and He still looked perfectly fine. He just His eyes were closed, but he was moving around a little bit. 
And, you know, I took that nasty collar off his neck. You know, I don't like those, but I, I love it. I, I, it's what I do to keep them around, and there ain't no roosters back here anymore. We, I threw all them collars away. Them two roosters y'all saw, neither one of them has a collar around their neck anymore. I, I just, they're good. I mean, I guess they're good products, but I, I go a little too chicken crazy with it, you know, just getting too many. So, just kind of keep it. I have seven hens over here. I have a total of 15 chickens besides besides some baby ones that I've hatched. Besides them, I have a total of 15, so the numbers have dropped. I mean, I still have my, my cuckoo silk. He's a, I did have a trio. I ended up getting a trio of them. Getting rid of my white little smoothie I had over there. That smoke, silky smooth kind of thing. I ended up getting rid of her. I gave her to my grandpa, though. I mean, he has some chickens that look just like her. But anyway... They're still mine, but I had a trio and one of the hens died. The one that I added to it, y'all never got to see. She ended up, something ended up literally tearing a hole in the side of the wooden coop he had when we ended up off the ground and killed him. But, yeah, he died and it was uh, very sad, but uh, we ain't got no more roosters back here besides them two. And they just kind of stay in the garage. We just kind of let them out during the day. They don't really grow, really. There ain't nothing over there. My black cop Moran was, but my rooster, my, my dogs tore into her really good. And I'm surprised she lived, I'm really surprised. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna take y'all inside and I'm gonna show y'all what I've been working on as far as the uh, chicks and what I'm building doing for them roosters. So, uh, so back in here, sorry if it's a mess or anything, but I've been keeping them in this aquarium for the past week and a half, two weeks. I let them out every day during the day, they just spend the night here. And then it's hard to get a really good view of it. But I have built these wired cages. They're two feet tall and two and a half by two and a half. And each rooster goes in one. So they both have, each rooster has two and a half feet by two and a half to, to roam in. And two foot high. And this one down here I built, I built the wired cage. And they go in here. And this thing, I'm going to end up, we're going to end up cleaning this whole thing out and having a big yard sale. And getting everything out. And uh, I'm going to end up sliding all the way over there. It's about four foot that way. Probably more than, I think, yeah, about four foot five foot that way i can take it have to cut those because that's what's keeping it up and uh, i'm put there's another one that's supposed to go up here i have it cut out i just haven't like made it like i have like the wire cut out because i bend it every two and a half foot and i haven't bended it and all that and i have to make it but for now they two are just gonna live together in there because they've been living that small thing which i'm probably going to end up trashing that because it's just not worth keeping and uh so yeah i mean it's Okay, but I just built it last minute and uh, I'm gonna end up putting either a box fan or one of them circ circulating fans right over in here somewhere after I get all this cleaned out too. Uh, and I'm gonna end up putting it over there because all this is gonna go. So, and that way it blows on them in the summer because it gets kind of hot and muggy in here even in the winter. I like, just gets muggy and to keep that air circulating and keep this door right here closed. Um, but here's the brooder. I haven't showed y'all. I have it up off the ground. I don't know why I did it. I just did it. And it has two sides to it. This side will be where the silkies go when they hatch. They're supposed to hatch Wednesday. But for some reason, one of them hatched today. And a few other ones are pipped. But I made this little border in here. And then we have three. I've had these chickens. I've had them, all them white japs and white rocks for since the very beginning of April. So I've had them well over a month. And then I've ha I have some white, three white rocks and three white japs. Hope y'all can see them pretty good. But they they, they had these hatched uh, Thursday. Some of them hatched Wednesday. Some of them hatched Thursday. I'm getting this ready. And uh, hold on. Sorry, it's a little messy in here. But um. I'm gonna end up getting it cleaned up in here. But I have seven of these. And then we'll see when I'm hatched. And I, I, I just put the date on them because they were in the back. And this one he hatched this morning. There's six more left and there's some of them that are like pipped, you know. Or they pipped it open. guys alone. 
So the other ones can hatch. I don't know why they're hatching so early though. It's only the 18th day. And then they'll be going on this side right here. But yeah, this is my little brewer I'm using these days in here. And uh, got this thing and this work in progress over here. But I hope this works good. And to keep the, I've, I've gotten some really thin about this thin about this thick uh, plywood and I'm uh, making some trays to go under it that way when they crap and poop and whatnot I can just pull it out and go dump it every day keep it good in here keep it fresh smelling and sweep up the floor that way they ain't got to wear them uh, collars or anything and then when it's like breeding time I can throw a hen in there that's why they're also so big and that way they ain't walking on uh, the wire all the time I'm going to put wood in there because I don't know because I've had I had some chickens on wire once before and it really kind of messed up their feet and money. Like he wasn't able to walk real well. He ended up I don't know he ended up dying very soon after that. I don't know if it was because of that, but I want to make it to where they can walk on wood too. It might pop a little bit, but uh, I guess who cares? I'm just gonna have to do it. And then because they'll have waters and feeders hanging out that on the sides like those two liters, but. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, stay tuned, because I'm going to try to get more videos out. There just won't be as much content, because I'm really not doing a lot right now. A lot, a lot, not a lot's happened. Well, a lot has, but not much is happening. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.